Hey there guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome if you are new, if you are returning, welcome back. Um, in this video we will be doing a general reading um, for Cancer for the month of June. Um, if it does not resonate with you, I apologize. Um, not all messages resonate with everybody. Um, if it does resonate with you, please hit, hit that like button. Um, if you would like to see more in the future, please hit that subscribe button like a personal reading please send me an email I'll send you information about it um, okay, so let's see what your June month of June looks like for cancer what does the month of June look like for cancer the month of June These guys are like super duper glossy. Month of June. For cancer. We have the hanged man. And the empress. So it looks like you're going to get a fresh perspective. Like a better perspective like a newer perspective um, on things that might be growing in your life. Something you might have started and you're starting to see things starting to produce from it. Um, or you might even just be seeing a better perspective of your feminine side. The month of June for Cancer. The month of June for Cancer. These bad boys are going to take a little bit of getting used to, or breaking in, I should say. Month of June for Cancer. Month of June for Cancer. Don't wind up moving to another deck soon. Don't you dare, lady, like, tough this out. Tough canubbies. So here we have a Pathfinder, Eight of Cups. Then we have the Seven of Cups, Illusion. So, you're going to be going on a journey. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck we have the Three of Swords. It looks like you'll be going off on your own and reflecting on things. On what's been hurting you. Month of June for Cancer. Month of June for Cancer. Okay, and not to mention, see we have another three. I say another three because the hanged man is 12, and in numerology, you're going to want to narrow it down to a single number, um, or a single digit number. Um, so there, therefore, it be 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 is a, <coughs> uh, it represents the color yellow, and um, it's a creative number, inspirational um, yellow, the color yellow can help, like, spark up clairvoyance. So, it could also be some, something to do with creativity as well, since we do have another three. And another thing with creativity is you're starting something, and here with it being the Empress card, you're starting something, because the fertility card. So, you might just have, like, might go on your own to think of a project. Here we have the strength card, strength card, so you're going to gain strength from this for sure. Month of June. Cancer. Okay, and we got the Nine of Cups. This is a lot of cups here. 
cups, cups, cups. So you must be in your element, I would believe. So there's has to deal with you yourself, unless you have a partner that's cups. But we don't have any partner cards at all. So here we have our nine of cups, which is abundance, which is wish fulfillment. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have our Knight of Cups, which can be, um, and this one here is Compassion, it says at the bottom, um, I like to refer to it as some kind of, like, it's a message from the heart. Month of June for Cancer. Okay, here we have the Ace of Swords. Intent. So it's beginning of an action. Then we have Two of Swords. So it's stalemate at the end or at the bottom. It can also mean like decision making with this action a fool card for a fresh start it's like hang on here let me get my other card <gasps> first oh my god i can't keep going i knocked over my buddha <laughs> poor buddha okay what do we have i think i can right all right the swords. Can you tell me? I mean, it's one, two, three. One, two, three. It's like everything is trying to line up. And that would be the third three. Wow. Okay. It's a pretty powerful message, I believe, to myself at least. It's three. Just explain what three represents. Three is also a trinity. We have three threes. Hmm. How intriguing. Three, three, three. That's nine. Okay, anyways, I'm sorry. That's the cards. The ace of swords and two of swords. So we have the hermit card. Ace of swords and two of swords. Cancer it has to do with the earth sign. Okay, so here we are with our hermit card. She's on his own. He's figuring things out on his own. Or went off on his own, snuck off on his own. To figure out how to put pieces together. And here we have our Queen of Pumpkins, which is the Pentacles. It represents an Earth sign. Staying up at night. Wow. We just had this ship for Gemini. A Knight of Wands. And four Pumpkins. Four Pentacles. Can't make this shit up, guys. Go watch your Gemini one. We have the moon card at the bottom. We have like the three of swords for Gemini. Not Gemini, I'm sorry. Three of swords. For cancer, three of swords for cancer. Anything for the three of swords for cancer. It's almost like you have to go through this for in order to heal from whatever the issue is. Mm -hmm. you, you see that this person is happy, but you also see them as your equal partner. You don't think that it's right for them. You don't think that they're being honest with themselves.
This is the marriage card and a uh, Taurus card. Manipulator, magician. Okay, and we have a message. The Page of Cups. <clears throat> see, can you tell me about this magician with the Page of Cups? Okay, here you are. King of Cups, bottom of the deck, Empress, which we also have up in Mia. Magician and the Page of Cups. Okay, see that? The Lovers and the Hierophant. This is somebody either you're married to or somebody you want to marry. You're off on your own thinking, contemplating the hermit card again. Okay. King of Wands, which is passion, represents fire. He's charming, so it's like he's trying to, you're trying to dig deep in yourself to find what you could use to get this lover back. Is you're learning. You're, yes, you're learning about this earth sign. And like it's like you're catching up. Like you're playing catch up with them. Coming in without any fear, quite possibly causing conflict. Going out to the world to deliver your message. Be careful. If this is somebody from your past, which we have gotten six of cups. Uh, just be careful. Don't, don't try to ruin anybody else's life. Just because you're not happy. Just be careful. Sorry. Take it, take the message as you will. No, it's not a very positive message. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but if anything, it's something that you have to go through to get to your next phase in life. And all is well, all will, will be okay. Um, if you like a personal reading, if you'd like to dive a little deeper into it, please go ahead and send me an email. Um, I will also break down numerology with your name and birth date. Um, and give you a little de details on that as well. Um, trying to think. I believe that's everything. Until next time, I'll be the same. Bye-bye.